What's going on guys, JoeFilmGRC.com. Welcome, appreciate you guys watching as always. Definitely smash that thumbs up while you're here. And let's hop over to pre-orders. Now, Kyosha's got quite a few cars coming. We got some little updates as far as when it comes to pre-order tab. That way you know, oh, this is a pre-order and it's not just it's in stock kind of thing. So we're hoping that will kind of identify some of these issues that we have with some customers asking if it was available or not. And now they'll know that it is a pre-order. So this is the pre-order area. So I'll put a link down in the description below so you can just click here and you can always see what the latest and greatest is in pre-orders. So here we go, lots of different pre-orders. So I've talked about the uh, Mad Wagon from Kyosho. I wasn't sure what the price is, now it is. We do know, and you can definitely order one now and be on that pre-order list. Also, as far as the Fun Haver from HPI, as far as the uh, Vaughn, Really cool looking car, all wheel drive. So if you like sliding around and things like that, definitely a pretty cool car to pick up. So we got a lot of stuff going on here. Still got the other stuff that's been still waiting on. So hopefully this stuff comes in pretty soon. But yeah, I wanna kinda of share with you, even Michelle's the E10. So that's pretty cool. Four wheel drive on this one as well. So brush system. So definitely check all these out here. We got the uh, Night Runner from uh, HPI. I'm sorry, from not from, from Team Associated as far as the Enduro. So, cool. Now, I want to get into these uh, Kyosho cars also. Now, the El Camino was uh, in black before, that tuxedo black. So now it's got a gray paint job on this one. We've got the GTO in blue, the Pontiac GTO. Then we have the Camaro. Now, this was in blue as well, but it was brushed. This one is brushless, so that's why you see that that price point right there. So check it all out, and then we got the truck. This truck caught my eye real quick. I was like, oh, okay, we got a truck now. Because, you know, we've seen so many cars, 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 cars from Kyosho, and they look great. Don't get me wrong on that one. But it's nice to see a little different coming from getting a truck. So I'm going to say... I'm going to check this one out. So definitely check this one out along with the other ones as well. But I think this thing is going to be pretty popular. Let me know what you guys think about this Toyota Tundra. I'm digging it. The TRD Pro Street Modified RTR. This has got the longer chassis. So if by chance you're looking to upgrade this, put a brushless system in it or whatever, you can at least upgrade the, the aluminum one, and that would be an FAW210. There's other ones out there as far as... Um, I don't know exactly how you say his name, but it's like K-A-N-I-Z-R-C. He has a little setup where it's steel drive shaft. The aluminum one is pretty decent, but the steel one is solid. So definitely either one, you can't go wrong, but if you're looking to put even more power, then you can always check out that one I just mentioned. So definitely check them out, but for now, we're jumping over this. This thing's got LED light buckets in it. Really nice front and rear. It's got the rear diffuser. Click on that too. What do you guys think about this thing? I know I'm already, I'm loving this. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. As far as it's got the five star rims on it. Yeah, yeah, man, it's got the little spoiler. There's your diffuser. This thing is cool. I like it a lot. It's got little side mirrors on it. Digging it. Um, so, there you go, definitely check this one out. I'm gonna go ahead and it's 2S capable, so you won't run this thing on a 3S LiPo or anything like that unless you feel like burning up your motor. But um, yeah, there you go. Uh, that one was coming out sometime ETA of July. If you didn't notice that one, I kind of glimpsed at it too. Uh, with this new little setup that we have for the pre-orders, don't miss out. I'm trying to drop it in there to kind of give people an idea when things might be showing up. Again, it's an estimated time of arrival. We're not always 100% it shows up I'm like hey it's here sometimes it's early sometimes it's late seems like it's been running a little bit late than early but keep our fingers crossed that it comes in july so yeah we're taking pre-orders check them all out we got the camaro as far as the z28 which is proper man i mean all these cars probably should have faster uh, systems in them but i like keeping the price down so it is nice a little bit of mix so you hey you got a brushless one you got a brushed one so Thank you, Kyosho, as far as that one goes. So here you go again. This one's coming out definitely long later, so August. But all these things kind of dropped. I'd like it to be like, hey, we're a month out. 
and they drop them. That would be kind of cool because having to wait, you kind of lose that excitement sometimes. And then you kind of like moving on to the next thing. And you're like, okay. So hopefully you can keep that excitement if you're really into these, uh, like the Tuxedo Black as far as the uh, Z28. I mean, this is a cool looking car. This thing's going to be pretty quick. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this one. It's got LED light buckets in the front and rear. It's got the little chrome bumper. So we can check this thing out a little bit better. So yeah, use the body clips. You know, that's the way it is as of right now. Until you come up with like some kind of maybe other system to get rid of those body clips. I was looking to see if it had any kind of mechanics to flipping lights up like the uh, Dodge Charger Supercharger had or has. But it seems like this one doesn't have any kind of mechanics when it comes to like this. If you move this little piece, this little black piece, it'll allow you to move um, kind of like that intake as far as what am I thinking here. Anyway, the throttle body or whatever you want to call it as far as on the, the top planet or whatever there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that you can move that one, but there's no any kind of like servo hookup unless you get creative with it and make that kind of work. But as of straight out the box and anything like that, nothing. I don't know if these headlights, they look like they're just gonna be, you just put the LEDs in there, nothing happens there. The other one had, they would pop up or they, they would flip and then you expose the LED lights or the headlights. So this one doesn't look like it has anything like that. As you can see here, yeah, there wouldn't be anything as far as any kind of servo mechanics or nothing like that in this particular one. So there you go answer my own question <laughs> as far as now you can see that it looks the same with the lights off and on nothing happening there so there you go now this one also as far as when it comes to the chassis length i was kind of looking to see what chassis length this one was but it doesn't it's not jump oh there we go so this is the shorter chassis so this would be an faw 209 this would be the um shorter drive shaft aluminum drive shaft if by chance you had to get a replacement one or something. It's already in there, as you see here. So yeah, you don't have to worry about buying one because it's already in the car. So there you go, just in case someone was like, it's already in there, dude. I know, but just kind of let you guys know too. So yeah, we're taking pre-orders on this one. Again, not until August. So we'll hop over to the, checking out the GTO. But again, I'm gonna put these links down. I can't go through all this stuff. It'll be a pretty long video, but you know that the GTO is here. It's looking real good too. That side profile. Kiosh always knocks out the park with a lot of their vehicles. So they look, these pictures don't justify. They just don't do the do the car justice. You gotta really see these things in person. So maybe you got a place where you can kind of go and look and see these things like, yeah, those things look really cool. Cool, I'd like to pick one of those up. Then, you know, you can hop on to mgrc.com's website and you can order yourself one. So there you go. But um, in the meantime, really cool as far as the El Camino, liking it. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Like I said, I'll put links down in the description below. You guys can check these things out. It's, um, but there you go. I all Most of these cars here, El Camino, sometime July. GTO should be July. As far as the Toyota Tundra, it should be in July. The only one that's going to be longer would be the um, El, uh, the. I'm looking at it here. I can't say it. The Z28, as far as the Camaro goes. So a lot of these are going to be taking a little bit of time to arrive but um yeah there you go so this is really cool so anyway i appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe definitely hit that thumbs up button helps out a lot leave a comment below let me know what you guys like as far as the kyo shows all that good stuff cute positive and i'll catch you guys real soon you guys take care peace